let's get into our mobility and then I'll let you know what we got coming up for the workout. We'll take the feet outside of the hips to get going. With our warm up, pull the head, reach it towards the floor. Let the upper body hang heavy. The head and the neck, the arms. Wake up the back of the legs. Take a nice big deep breath in and out. And then we'll point the toes out, pull the heels in and into a nice deep squat. Have those feet separate. I'm just going to round my spine and reach my hands forward. And then I'm going to come up and reach out with that right hand up and over. Nice big stretch. And then just start to open the chest to the sky and reach that my arm back. And then we'll bring it down. We'll take the left arm up and over. And then open it up to the back. Very good. Bring that left hand back in front. Push the hips up high. Point forward. And we'll take that slow roll to the top. Head coming up last, big shoulder roll at the top. Good. We'll step it back to the back of our mat. Bend the knees and reach the hands all the way down. We walk it out to find our plank. We're going to get into that runner's lunge, bringing that left foot forward. You can keep that right leg elevated or let the right knee come down to the mat, whichever works best for you. We'll stay here for a second. Maybe let that left knee kind of fall out. And really sink the hips to the mat. Ooh, big stretch there. Good. We'll take our left hand up and reach it back. Big twist. And then you can bring the left hand down. Take the left foot back. Maybe push it into a down dog. Come back into your plank. And then we're going to step forward with that right foot sinking in to the runner's lunge on this right side. You can drop that left knee or keep it elevated, whatever works best for you. And then we'll take that right hand up and reach it back. Good. Bring it back. Step it back and walk the hands back to the feet and take that slow roll to the top. Head up last, shoulder roll at the top. We've got two more mobility moves. Balancing on the right, we lift the left, swing it out. Step it back. Find your split stance. Find your lunge. And then twist to the right. Reach the right hand back. Good. Step it in. Shake it out. We'll do the other side. Balancing on the left. Lift the right. Swing it out. Step it back. Find the lunge. And we twist left. And reach left. Good. Step it in and shake it out. We've got that deadlift. Balancing on the right. We'll pick up the left and bring the chest parallel to the floor. It might take you a couple of times to find your balance, and that's okay. We'll stand up tall and out to the left, pushing the hips back to the left, bending that left knee. We just want to create a stretch in that right inner thigh. Just enough to activate it to wake it up. Step it in, shake it out. We go to the other side. Down on the left. Bring your chest parallel to the floor. And then stand tall and out to the right, spinning that right knee, hip go back to the right. We look for that stretch in the left inner thigh, hold it there. Step it in and shake it out. All right. All right. We have a lower body focus today. And our circuit is going to be four rounds. We've got 60 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, and 20 seconds. We have a walkout plank into a jump squat at the top. So we walk it out, we walk it in, and we take a little hop at the top. We've got knee drives in a plank position. So we'll drive the right knee for half of the time and the left knee for the other half of the time. We're going to do some um, forward lunges alternating, and we've got some goblet pull squats for three. Again, it's timed. It's 60 seconds, 40, 30, 20. Grab some weights and we will get started. We've got the walkout into the jump squat for 60. And we'll start in three, two, and one. Find your fold. Walk it out to find your plank. Hold your plank for just a second, maybe a couple of breaths if you like. And then walk it in. Once you get to the back of this fold position, you're just going to drop the hips, the chest, and then try to take it into a little hop and then fold again. Walk it out, 
So we're essentially, we're going walking from this fold into a squat, into a jump. Good. More than halfway there. Find your plank. Find your fold. Dip the hips down, lift your chest, and then pop it up. We've got 15 seconds. Try to do one more. Very good. A little bit of a break. We're gonna bring it down into a plank for our next move with knee drive. So for 30 seconds, we're gonna drive our right knee forward and back. Then we'll switch and we'll do 30 seconds on the left side. If you need to take a break, bring the knees to the floor. Take a modified plank and then get back into it whenever you can. We're going to start this in five, four, three, two, and one. Find your plank. 30 seconds. We're going to drive the right knee in and then push the heel back. Nice tight core. 15 seconds. Now, if you want to make it a little easier, bring the foot back down and let it touch in between each knee drive. We've got five seconds, four, three, two, and we switch sides, drive the left. Now, if you wanna make it harder, you'll keep that left leg elevated. And if you need to modify a little bit, bring it back down to that plank position. We're already halfway there. We've got 15 seconds left on this left side. 10, five, four, three, two, and maybe take a little child's pose. Nice job. We're gonna come up and grab some weights for our next move. We've got some alternating forward lunges. You can use one weight, two, or you can go body weight, totally up to you. We're gonna alternate. It's 60 seconds and we're gonna start in five. In three, two, one, we're gonna step forward, lunge down and push it back. Most important thing here is that you're not letting that toe push super far over the toe. You wanna to drop the back knee and then push it back. Keeping that front knee stacked over the front ankle. Take your time. 60 seconds is a long time. You've got plenty to get several good ones. Focus on your form. We have 20 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Take a quick second. We've got some goblet pulse squats. We're gonna pulse for three at the bottom and then go right back to the top. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. So a goblet means you're gonna hold the weight up to your chest. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. We're gonna pull to the bottom for three, and then push back to the top. Only go as low as you can. It doesn't need to be Super low. And if you're lifting heavy, maybe you keep it up a little bit at the top for that pulse. Pulsing for three. We're halfway there. Fifteen seconds.
in five, four, three, two, and one. We'll take a break. Nice job. Round one done. We have three to go. They'll get easier each time. Now we only have 40 seconds. And then we'll do 30, and then we'll do 20. Starting with the plank walkout, adding in that jump. And if you need low impact, just skip the jump. We're going to start in 10 seconds. We have 40 on the clock. Let's go. Forward fold, walk it out, find your plank, walk it in. From the fold, we drop the hips, lift the chest, and take that hop, or just stand nice and tall. Halfway there, 20 seconds. We got 10. Maybe we can do one more. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Bring it down. Big jump in time for round two. 20 seconds off is very nice. So this time with the 40 seconds on, we've got 20 second knee drives on the right and then 20 on the left. Get ready to find your plank. We start those right knee drives in five, four, three, two, and one. The right knee comes in. Now you can step the foot right back to add that plank, or if you want to add a challenge, you can keep that right leg lifted. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. We go to the left. 20 seconds left. We've got 10. Three, two, and one. Maybe find a child's pose. Bring it up when you're ready. We have those alternating forward lunges. We'll go in five. Four, three, two, and let's go. It's 40 seconds. Step forward, find the lunge, and then push it back. And take your time, focus on your form. We're more than halfway there. For three, two, and one. Nice job. The weight's down. A couple deep, deep, big breaths. We go in 10 with that goblet pulse squat. We have three pulses at the bottom and then come back to the top. Let's go. 40 seconds off. Pulse for three. Push it right back to the top. Keep weight nice and close to your chest. More than halfway there, 15 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice job. Two up, two down. We go for three seconds. Next step. Back to that plank walkout. We're going to go in 10, adding that jump or 
keeping it low impact and just standing to the top. Three, two, and one. Find your plank. Take your time dropping the hips from that fold and raising the chest. Even if you're gonna keep low impact, find that deep squat from the deadlift and then just stand tall. We have less than 10 seconds. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Good job. We're going to bring it out to that plank in three, two, and one. We're here for 30 seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive the right leg for 15, and then we'll drive the left for 15. Five seconds, four, three, two, let's switch it up. 15 seconds with the left leg, 10. Five, four, three, two, and one, a little child pose. Couple of rounds of breath. Take your time coming up. We've got forward lunges for 30. We'll go in five, four, three, two, and one. It's 30 seconds. Alternate your lunge. Take your time. Keep the front knee behind the front toe. Less than 10. Three, two, and one. Shift the weights down for a second. And we'll get into that final move. Pull squats. For 30 seconds, we'll finish off round three. We'll have one round to go. We'll start in five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse at the bottom for three. Take your time. More than halfway there, we have 10 seconds. Time for one more. Nice job, set that weight down. Take a quick water break. And we'll get into our final round. 20 seconds. So those knee drives, we're doing 10 seconds on each side. I don't know why I brought it down. I'm already ready for those knee drives. We're gonna get it started in five. In three, two, one, it's 20 seconds. Find your walk out, walk it in. Find that deep squat. Maybe add the hop or just stand tall. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, 20 seconds goes fast. We've got our knee drives. 10 seconds on the right, 10 seconds on the left. We'll come up to that plank in five, four, three, two, and one. Knee drives on the right for 10. Three, two, and one, other side. Three, two, and one. Nice job. 
20 seconds of lunges, 20 seconds of squats. We'll take a longer break and then we'll move on. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds of lunges. Take your time. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Put your weights down. We've got the goblet pull squat for 20. And then we'll move on. I'm going to do mind body weight this time. Three, two, and one. You're going to pulse for three. Back to the top. Less than 10 seconds. We go for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shake out the legs. Grab some water. And let's see what we got coming up. Take time to catch your breath. We want that. Heart rate to come back to normal. Oh, mine's already normal. It feels high. All right. Moving on. Circuit two is two moves. We're going to repeat it three times. It's 60 seconds of each work. We'll do a little break in between. Oh, no, it's okay. It's 60 seconds total. With the break, 45 on, 15 off. We've got a deadlift and we've got high planks into a bear. So it's 45 on, 15 off. And we're gonna do these three sets with that 15 off without taking long breaks. Our heart rate shouldn't get super high with this. Choose a weight that works for you and feel free to do these uh, deadlifts, body weight if you prefer. 45. 15 for three. So we go plank to bear after these deadlifts. We've got a 45 second deadlift coming. Get your weights ready. In three, two, and one. Nice, easy deadlift. You're going to slightly bend the knees, push the hips back, bring your chest parallel to the floor, and then stand back to the top. Nice and slow. Fifteen seconds. Keep your core nice and tight. Stand tall. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Nice flat back. Three, two, one. We'll set the weight down. This plank. From the plank, we'll sit the feet in to a bear, which is similar to a tabletop position, but the knees don't touch the floor. We'll step it back. You can stay in the bear as long as you like. You can stay in the plank as long as you like. Let's get started. Plank, step it into bear. Hold for a second, and then step it right back out. We're here for 45. Maybe hold your plank, and then take it to your bear. We've got three sets of this, and we're going to keep that 15-second break pretty strict. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Here's our first break. It's 15 seconds. I should say our first break in between rounds. We have two more rounds to go, so get your weights ready. We're going back to that deadlift. Three, two, one. And one, round two.
We'll take a 15 second break. And 10 before we get into those planks. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Got the sweat dripping today. All right. Bring it down. We only have a 15 second break. We go in three, two, and one. Find your plank. Maybe take a second. Catch your breath. And when you're ready, you'll step those feet in, bringing the knees underneath the hips into that bear hold. Back out to your plank. Hold either position as long as you like. We're here for another 15 seconds. For 10, for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. 15 seconds. That's all we get. We'll take a longer break. After this last round, we go in four, three, two, and one. Start your deadlift. Fifteen seconds. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We'll move into those plank bears in three. Two and one. We'll take a nice break after we finish this plank. Hold the plank as long as you like. And if you need a little break, you can take it to a modified plank, bringing the knees to the floor and just holding your plank for this 45 seconds. <sighs> Otherwise, we're driving the knees in, holding that bare position, and then pushing it back out to our plank. We have 15 seconds. We have 10. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Take a down dog or a child's pose, whatever feels good to you. Little water break. Nice. We'll get a nice break here before we move on. Our next circuit, we also have three sets. It is also two moves. We've got some split squats and we've got some pop squats, just some jump outs into a squat. This is going to be a rep count. We'll go at whatever pace works for you. We've got 12 split squats on each leg, and then we've got 24 pop squats where you jump out and touch the floor. So 12 split squats, 24 jump outs. And if you don't like the rep count, you can always change it to your own. If you wanna do 10 and 10 and 20, that works too. Maybe let's do that. Let's do 10 on each side, and then we'll do 20 jumps. 24 is a lot, I've done it before. We've got three sets of this, and our final circuit is one move for 60 seconds, and then we'll stretch. So push through to get this round in. It's split squat. One leg is back, one leg is in front, and I'm not going to be back into a lunge. I'm going to have this up on the tiptoes. I'm going to really sit down into that front leg, and I'm going to have one weight in my opposite hand. 
we'll do 10 on one leg and on the other. And we'll draw a to take those jumps. I'm going to start with my left leg, meaning I'll take my right foot back. And again, we're not back here in a lunge. I'm going to take this right hip go right to the floor. Picking up the weight with my right hand, I'm just going to sit into that left leg for 10, driving the back knee down. But you want to think about 80% of your weight being on that left leg. And I push mine pretty quick. I don't know if that's to get them done. Or to keep from standing up and locking out. Once you get the left, you'll do the right. Again, don't step back into a deep lunge. You just want to put all your weight on that right foot. And just drop that weight towards the floor for 10. Once you get those, we've got 20 jump outs. We'll jump out, reach down, go at your arm pace. Take breaks in between each set. And when you're ready, get into that other side. I want to let my heart rate calm down a little bit just so that I'm not going into uh, a new move with my heart rate completely exhausted. You want to have some power and you need your breath for that power. Okay, I'm back down. I'm ready. Again, you want 80% of your weight on that front leg. The back leg is on the tiptoe. You're going to drop that weight down for 10. One side and then the other. And then you've got those jump outs for 20. Take some time to catch your breath. We've got one more round of the circuit. Let your heart rate come down before you start. 
push through this final round. We only have one more circuit left. It's one move for 60 seconds. waiting for my heart rate to come down. Remember keeping 80% of that weight on that front leg. The back foot is up on the tiptoe. You're counting 10 on each side. Jump out for 20, whenever you're ready. Nice job. Take a second, catch your breath. Grab some water. And then we've got one move left. We'll be on our back, working our core, starting our cool down. It's 60 seconds. And then we'll take our stretch. <clears throat> when you're ready, bring it all the way down to your back. We're gonna lift our legs up long, pressure your low back into the mat. You're gonna tuck your chin to your chest, bring your elbows wide, maybe let your head kind of rest into the hands or just keep your fingertips behind the ears. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Your right leg is gonna lower down, tap the floor and then bring it right back up. We're gonna do these nice and slow, one side and then the other. We're here for 60 seconds. Working our hip flexors, working our core. Keep that low back pressed into the mat. And if you need to modify this, you can always let your head rest to the mat. We're halfway there. Almost to our stretch. 20 seconds. If you want an extra challenge, maybe lower both at the same time, if you can keep that low back pressed to the mat. For five, four, three, two, and one. We'll pull the knees into the chest and close the eyes. We'll start our cool down. Take a slow rock side to side, massage the back into the mat. Nice job. Lower body focus today. So we're gonna make sure and spend some time Stretching out that lower body, it'll just be a couple of minutes and then we'll be good to go. We're gonna bring the feet to the mat and then cross the left ankle over the right knee. Maybe press on that left thigh just a little bit. 
and then lift that right foot off the mat to draw the left shin close towards the chest. You're gonna find a stretch or you might find a stretch in that left hip. We're looking to stretch those glutes. See if you can find it. And when you do, hang out there for a couple of rounds of breath. So we're going to bring that right foot to the mat and then just roll to the right hip. Let that left foot come down to the mat. And I'm going to scoot my right foot up towards my left hand and see if I can grab on to my right toes. I'm just going to find a little stretch and the right quad. I'm gonna let that left knee fall over. I'm kind of in a pretzel here. Let's make our way to our back. This time bringing the knees into the chest super wide, open them up. We'll lift the feet up to the ceiling, take a happy baby, pull the knees towards the floor, get into those hips. reaching for the bottoms of the feet or the ankles, and then maybe take that slow rock side to side. So bring the feet to the mat. We'll cross the right ankle over the left this time. Lifting that left foot off the mat, drawing that right leg close to the chest and finding that stretch in the right glutes. Slowly lower that left foot. We're just going to roll to our left hip. We're going to end up with that right knee to the floor. I'm going to reach my left hand for that left foot. Kind of untangle my leg. Just lay in a pretzel here for a second. Finding a twist for the low back. And maybe that's where you are and that's all good. We'll roll to the back, bring the knees to the chest. We'll rock and roll a couple of times up to a seat. Nice and easy. We'll use our hands behind us to push us into a fold. We're gonna stretch out the hamstring. Tucking the head, relaxing the neck, relaxing the upper body, let the arms hang heavy. Let the backs of the legs stretch out, let the spine relax, take a couple of deep breaths. When you're ready, roll all the way up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow, rounding the back. We'll take the hands up, find a little bit of a back bend, and take a big deep breath to stretch the core. And then when you're ready, let those arms come down nice and slow. We'll interlace the fingers in the back and open up the chest. Nice job today. Thank you so much for coming for our lower body workout today.